2017 question paper for 14 marks. Idu nuvagan first. The following data is furnished by a company for the year 2015. Stock of material 1115. Stock of material December 15. Purchase of material wages, factory overhead, administration overhead, closing stock of finished goods, sales, production during 2015, 5000 units. Say in the year 2015, how many units we are manufacturing? 5000 units. This we have to mark it clearly. Okay. Get you got it, sir? See, 5000 units we are manufacturing in the year 2015. Now, what is given in the other uh, paragraph is the company wants to quote uh, for a contract for the supply of 1000 units. See, we are preparing an estimated cost sheet for how many units? 1000 units. Here, last year we have manufactured 5000 units and we have sold it. In this year, one customer ordered us for 1000 units and he is asking us what is the selling price for 1000 units. That we have to calculate. Got it, sir? Now, the cost of materials expected to increase by 15%, wages by 10%, prepare statement of cost for 2015 uh, and a tender statement for 16 showing price quoted per unit if the same percentage of profit remained as in the previous year. As in the previous year. Now, when you are preparing, first, he is not given materials, cost of materials. Okay, material consumed at the Kotidana, Kotila. See, whenever he is given like this, okay, stock of material. What is this? Stock of materials on 1150. What is the value he is given? 35,000. To this, what is the purchase of raw material is given? Purchase of raw material. Purchase of materials is given 50,000. See, totally. We have 85,000 materials in the year 2015. From this 85,000 materials, what is the closing stock of raw material? 5,000. That is on 31st December 15 is 5,000. That means totally 80,000 rupees of materials we have used to manufacture 5,000 units. You understood now? Understood or no? See, boss, we had 35,000 material, last year's material, we brought it this year. Again, we purchased another 50,000 material. Totally, we had 85,000 material. Out of 85,000, how much we consume? How much we use? 80. Remaining 5,000 materials is that in the stores itself. Understood? Now, for this is called as materials consumed. What is this? Materials consumed or used. 80,000 is for 5,000 units. What is for 1 unit? 80,000 divided by 5,000. 16. 16 rupees. 16 rupees per unit. Next, what is their wages? What is the wages amount? 1 lakh rupees. Right? 1 lakh divided by 5,000 is 20 rupees per unit. Now, what is the total expenses prime cost? 1,80,000 and 36 rupees. Correct? Uh? This is what we call it as what? Prime cost. To this prime cost, in add one Factory overheads. What is the factory overheads given in the question? 20,000. Correct? Uh, 20,000 for 5,000 is one unit. Guess what? 4 rupees. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. This is 2 lakhs. This is 40 rupees. This is what we call as factory cost. Correct? To this factory cost, what is given? Closing stock of finished, uh, sorry, office administration overhead. Administration overhead. What is administration overhead? 20,000 rupees. 20,000 divided by 5,000 is again 4 rupees per unit. It becomes 44 rupees. This is 2,20,000. Correct? Huh? 
this is called as what cost of production what is this cost of production to this cost of production is given closing stock of finished goods what is given always closing stock of finished goods we minus from the cost of production so closing stock of finished goods how much 20000 please don't calculate for one unit don't calculate per unit now this becomes 2 lakhs right sir now uh, sales how much is given 2 lakh 50000 if 2 lakh 50000 is the sales what is the profit 50,000 rupees. This is called total cost and this is called as what? Profit. Profit always should be added. Now how much you got? 2 lakhs plus 50, 2 lakh 50,000. Everything is clear. Is it clear for you? Is it clear? So now, then what is the total cost per unit you don't know? What is the selling price per unit you don't know? What is the per unit we don't know? But it's very clear this is okay. Two lakh twenty thousand was for five thousand units. What is the finished goods? Twenty thousand rupees. How do you calculate twenty thousand rupees on the basis of forty four rupees cost of production? See twenty thousand divided by four point four. Can you do it? Forty four. Sorry, forty four. Huh? 454.5 is it a fraction so it is a fraction leave it and leave it here you got it now what is the question for him is if in the 2016 if you start manufacturing 1000 units what is the total cost and what is the selling price now materials what is the cost of per unit material what is the material per unit Per unit material is 16 rupees. Right, sir? How much it is increased? Uh, material is increased by 15%. See, on 16, 16 into 15 by 100. 16 into 15 by 100. 2.25. 2.40. So then per unit will be 18 rupees 40 paise. 1840 into 1000 is 18,400. Okay. Wages. See wages is increased by 10%. See wages per unit is 20 rupees. 20 rupees. Increased by how much? 10%. 2 rupees. 22 rupees per unit. 22 into 1000 is 22,000. Got it says? Now, what is the total prime cost? 40 rupees. 40,400. Correct? Sir. 40,400. This is the prime cost. To this prime cost, what is to be added? Factory overheads. Correct? Sir. But for factory overhead, no information is given. Does he given the information? No information is given. If no information is given, please try to understand. If no information is given, what is the what was the expenses of last year factory over it? 20,000. What was the wages amount? One lakh rupees. Depending on the percentage on this, we can see last year factory over it was 20,000 when the wages was one lakh. What is the wages for current year? 22,000. How much? Very simple. 4,400. See, 4,400 divided by 1,000 mark. Right? Yes, per 4 rupees, 40 paise. Now you get uh, 44 rupees, 800, 44,800. This is called as factory cost. Correct? Next. Administration overhead. Yes, it is 20,000. This is the model. 
ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓದಿ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಹೀಗೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಓಕೆನಾ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓರೈ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ಎಷ್ಟಿತ್ತು ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓರೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿತ್ತು ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತ ಹೇಳಿ ಫೋರ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟಿ ನಾವು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಪೈಸೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ನಾವು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಪೈಸೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಏಟಿ ಸಾರಿ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಏಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಡ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ನೋಡಿ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆಯಪ್ಪ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆಯಪ್ಪ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಂದ್ರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಏಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಹಾಮಚ್ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ this becomes uh, 12 rupees 32 paise this becomes 62 rupees 60 paise sir 61, this is 000. a huh? 61600 this is a yes sir uh, uh 61600 correct uh? this is 61 rupees 60 paise now i will explain you once again okay see material lo wages so avane yes percentage increase aagide anta helta ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕೋದು ಬಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿತ್ತು ಹಾಗೆ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ವೇಜಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗಿತ್ತು ಇದರದ್ದು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆನಾ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ವೇಜಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗಿದೆಯಪ್ಪ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇಜಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾವ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ವೇ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ 